Hello, students, and welcome to the show. I am Salvia the Magnificent, and I hope you're ready to suspend your disbelief, to open your mind, so that you may experience magic. Do you know how I did that? Mmm. Well, if you do, don't tell anyone, because it would ruin it. Yeah, we don't like people who reveal magic tricks around here. Famous magic tricks revealed! Oh, what the f- You see, he magically made some cigarettes appear. Aw, oh, damn it, he just had them glued to his fingers. Well, that's ruined. Oh, hold up, we got another cool cigarette trick. Not so cool anymore, is it? Yeah, no, it's ruined. But this is nothing new. Every few years, the magic community is faced with people trying to profit off of ruining our tricks. So let me show you how we handle it. If you're so good at revealing magic tricks, explain how me and 15 other dudes were able to fit inside your mom at the same time last night, you interloping son of a bitch. Leave magic alone. Last warning before we make a pipe bomb magically appear in your mailbox. Won't be magic. I will put it there. And post. Oh, wait a second. Uh, that wasn't a very nice comment. But with a flick of my wand, uh, presto! Haha! <laughs> Much better. All right, well, I can already tell you guys are gonna be a great crowd tonight. And now for my next trick. Watch as I make this hoagie disappear. God, I probably shouldn't have made that whole hoagie disappear like that. Now I'm kind of nauseous, but it's all right. If I do have to throw up, I'm just going to do it into this top hat where it will magically go somewhere else. But that's not all this magical top hat can do. You ready? Here's a rabbit. Oh, ew. That's a dead squirrel. All right. Well, wait, I, I can fix this and magically turn into a rabbit. Oh, no, no, that's worse. Yeah. Anyway, I'm still working on this trick. And yeah, magic tricks are a lot of hard work. That's why it's so annoying when some dickhead on TikTok starts ruining them. What you know about rolling down in the deep when the rain goes numb, you can call them into Oh crap, that sounds like copyrighted music. Well, I got a magic trick for this, and Shakira. That's better, but as you can see, this guy is blowing every single trick in the book. Plus, he's being smug. Now you might be wondering, why would someone who ruins magic tricks have a following? Well, you can go ahead and wonder that to the 15 million people who do follow this account, which has seemingly hundreds of videos all ruining magic tricks. Look at this one. It's just a montage of other people ruining magic while he reacts in the corner. I'll tell you what, this guy belongs on a corner. Song name? Hips Don't Lie by Shakira and help out. All right, well, that's enough of that. I think it's time for a real magician to weigh in. Hey, thanks, man. Now, whenever I see one of these tricks performed, it will make me feel nothing. The dull hum of my life will continue uninterrupted. No chance for wonder or excitement at witnessing what would otherwise make me believe in the incredible. There's nothing I hate more than thinking magic is real. I'm no fool, and I understand that the world around me is a bleak and altogether predictable vacuum of apathetic certainties. Thanks to you, the next time some asshole in a top Top Hat tries to make playing cards appear out of thin air, I'll simply ask to see the back of their hands so as to ruin it for everyone around me. Now if you don't mind, I have to go back to my job at PETA making family pets disappear from their front porch and throwing them off bridges onto passing trash barges. And abracapostra! Ah, now you see, that time I meant to do it. <laughs> oh, oh, god damn. This is how you turn water into wine. Hey, what's this video? Watch the glass. <laughs> oh, okay. Simple as that. Yo, what the hell? How did he do that? Maybe he's got some kind of enzyme in the glass and 
that's reacting with the chemicals in the pool now, I'm stumped. And that's what makes this so much fun. And the comments agree. Oh my god, no cuts, no nothing. Oh my god, now this is a true magician. It's a filter. Oh fuck, that person ruined it. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. And reply, and turn that reply into a bird. You see, the magic trick is I never really threatened that little girl's life. It was a bird the whole time. Although we both know what I really wanted to say there. <laughs> you know what I mean? But how did I do that? Well, you'll never know, because I'll never reveal my secrets. That is, unless a court orders me to, like they did with David Copperfield. David Copperfield reveals illusion under oath. Thank you so much for spending this evening. The world's most famous magician, forced in a courtroom to pull back the curtain on one of his most famous tricks. David Copperfield was grilled in a courtroom about what happened the night an audience member, Gavin Cox, was injured while participating in one of his illusions. It's just like the American justice system. No room for mystery. Cox says he was part of the vanishing crowd illusion where 13 members disappear from a cage suspended above the stage, then magically reappear at the back of the audience. Cox says he was rushed off the stage and slipped and fell into a dark construction zone causing permanent brain damage. So just to be clear, he's been doing this trick for 15 years and nobody ruined it until there was an injury. What were you doing when you, when you went that, that path that, that particular night? Did you run it? Did you walk it? Did you try it? That's my question. Fast walk. For his part, Copperfield says he only found out Cox was hurt after he sued the magician a year after the accident. I mean, can you imagine him doing that trick now? He, everybody knows how it's done. It's over for that trick. All that hard work, all that preparation, and all you have left are YouTube comments with great etiquette. I guessed wrong, twins. Clever god brain enhancement, me think. Always so much drama. He made his hair disappear too because that is a wig. The real magic is how Copperfield keeps that hair hat on his head without tipping over. Still hasn't made the moon disappear yet. That's no illusion on top of his head. That's a wag. We all know there's no magic. Why his eyes so evil? Magicians are creepy losers. Mm. This is so sad. There's nothing more humiliating than having to reveal your magic trick to a packed courtroom. I got into a similar situation once after performing a trick I call the divorce attorney, where I wrap my wife in chains and dump her off the side of a boat. I'll be the first to admit that I should have practiced the trick a bit more before attempting it, because next thing I know, she's at my front door with a bunch of police officers. I just wish someone had told me that every time you slip your cuffs in jail, they count that as an escape attempt. Also, that's a fucking wig. And post. Now for this next trick, I'm going to need a volunteer from the audience. Uh, no. Oh, how about you? Yes, you at home eating dinner while you watch this. I'm now going to read your mind. Relax. Oh, yes, you're thinking... You're thinking about how much you would like to see this week's sponsored ad read. <laughs> okay, if you insist. Previously on Mama's Twins, brought to you by Raycon. Yes, brother, let us help mother. Boop, 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 boop. Siri, put me to mother. But one thing Mama didn't tell you is she had triplets. And now, Mama's twins. Hello, my little son brothers. I'm so glad that you received my message. Brother, does Mother look, um, different? Yes, Mother. You do look different. Ow! Oh, I am in such pain. <gasps> Mother! Are you all right? Brother, I think this is someone in disguise to look like mother. Yes, brother. Mother, if you really are mother, tell us your most favorite thing about your everyday earbuds from buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off and free shipping, mother. Um, is it their active noise cancellation? Ergonomic design? Or multi-point connectivity that lets you pair with two devices at once? Which one, Mother? Um, all of them? Oh, that's what Mother would say! Do you love their handy charging case with a quick charge function that gets you 90 minutes of battery life with only 10 minutes of charging, Mother? Oh yes, of course, I'm your mother! Also weatherproof and sweat resistant with three soundproof files to match what you're listening to. Plus, touching the right Raycon for three seconds activates awareness mode. All thanks to buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off and free shipping, mother! I do like that. Oh, I can't tell if this is mother or not. She's answering everything perfectly. Mother, forgive me, but this is the only way to find out. <sighs> How are you? A 
almost had y'all fooled with the fake mama. Although well, guess now we can finally stir that gumbo. <laughs> Brothers. We have an other brother. I tell you right here, Mon Sherry, Mama owed me something. And I aim to collect. Oh, hold up. Is that their Raycon protective case? Yes, other brother. It complements my Raycons to perfection. Give me that. No. You have your own Raycons, brother. I can see them in your ear. Ah. Oh. So you could tell I was wearing these, huh? That's surprising, what with they sleek, low-profile fit. And they sound just as good as other top audio brands at half the price. Not to mention, they got a 30-day happiness guarantee. Something you boys don't. <laughs> I'll be seeing y'all soon. <laughs> he has disappeared! Well, brother, it looks like we need to find... Mother! Mother! And that's it for Mama's Twins. Brought to you by buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off and free shipping. Ah, uh, welcome back, fellow magic enthusiasts. Uh, looks like I'm out of wine. Well, <laughs> alcoholism. Ah, good, yes. Now don't go into the comments section trying to figure out how I did that trick. I'm telling you, there is no enjoyment to be had in ruining magic. Unless, of course, it includes a voiceover of Mitch Pelleggi being a pervert. Blonde beauty goes to pieces in haunted box. Uh, wait, I I am on YouTube, right? It, oh, okay. Because I've seen that title before on a different website. And play. Here's his latest torture device. A cabinet that's divided in three. If I know the masked magician, one of his beautiful girls will meet the same fate. Here she is now. Well, the outfit's a two-piece, so she's more than halfway there. And it looks like she knows what's expected of her as she heads straight for the back door of the box. You know, I'm starting to think he wants to have sex with that woman. Now that she's inside, we're deprived of her ravishing good looks. Uh-huh. Now, for her left hand and a little wave. What a tease. Oh, uh, okay. And down at the bottom, her right foot. The fishnets are a nice touch. Let's hope we can see them again, along with the legs that go with them. Uh uh, all right, well... The hand seems to be functioning and ready to be used for its intended purpose. Oh, 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 no. There she is, still in one magnificent piece and an equally magnificent two-piece. Uh, okay, dude, just tell us how the fucking trick is done. When the magician inserts the top blade, the girl inside the box is simply bending it down away from her torso. So they didn't really slice the lady into three pieces. All right, cool. Thanks. I love pervy narrator guy. You know it killed him not to make a backdoor joke. Love the beautiful assistant and her fishnet stockings on her feet and toes. Oh, shit. I think Mitch Pelleggi found this comment section. You guys can have the assistant. I want a piece of that sexy little mask magician. God damn, look at the way those form-hiding loose pants bounce against this fat fucking ass. I'd let him load my lemon while French dropping his balls on my chin. I know a lot of magicians have to force cards to get the results they want, but I'm ready and willing for this guy's hardest penetration trick, if you know what I mean. And I mean, I'm gonna let him blow up my asshole like it was Houdini's appendix. And we'll post that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that wasn't magic, by the way. This uh, wand just has a vape in it. Although what I'm learning here is that uh, nothing is magic. And that's a terrible lesson. You know, I believe that we should be preserving the sanctity of these magic tricks, not destroying them, so that they can age gracefully, forever. Like this. You see what I mean? Look how gracefully this is aged. This is high class magic. You want to see some low class magic? Wimp, and it's a vape. He 
switch places with the last person under the sheet. He covered all his body when he summoned the third person in order to switch place. The third person that he sends under the sheet is clearly him and kind of obvious the switch was made. Then as it's the only time the sheet comes out to cover him completely and the only time he is doubled as a show his face while chanting around and then goes into the tent to disappear underneath. Oh, fuck. I didn't really want to know how he did. God damn it. All right, well, I still gotta leave a comment. I love the part where he dressed like one of the Jan 6 Capital Riders. And po- Oh, no! Someone already left that same exact comment before me? How? Can someone in the comments please explain how they did that? I don't know, maybe it was magic. I sure hope we never find out one way or another. Because magic is all we have. And if you think about it, our very existence could be magic. You know, we're all alive, floating on a rock, going through space. Uh, that's magic. The human soul, that's definitely magic. And no one can disprove that. Neil deGrasse Tyson breaks down why humans do not have souls. Are you fucking kidding me? And play. What I do know is everything you are derives from electrochemical synapses running in your brain. Uh, which is magic. And how do we know the brain is you? Because you can stroke out bits by bits of your brain. We do the scan of the brain and the whole sections that just shut down. I, I don't want to think about this. And as that happens, if it's a multiple strokes rather than one massive stroke, um, as that happens, you lose the ability to speak. You lose knowledge of who you are, of where you – all the things that we associate with you. You lose your personality. And in the limit, none of your brain works except the basal motor functions that keeps your heart alive. You're still alive. Where's your soul now? No, shut up, dude. I don't want to think about that. I, I'm, I remain unconvinced that the soul is something other than... I remain unconvinced this guy isn't a huge fucking nerd. I don't know what middle school locker he climbed out of to start ruining the magic behind human consciousness, but he needs to be shoved back in there. Neil deGrasse Tyson could be getting a swirly from a bunch of jocks and still find a way to ruin it by talking about Newton's law until they give up and go back to getting shot by the quiet kid who doesn't get changed for gym class. In another life, Neil could have grown up to become a magician, using his understanding of the rules that govern our world to amaze and spread wonder. But instead, he chose the path of ruination, the need to explain and find explanation behind every interesting facet of the universe until it is rendered into some oleaginous suet of tedious verity. See, I can sound like a nerd too, you stupid bitch. Now let me copy your homework. Sim, set up, post. All right, well, so far today, we've seen about a hundred different magic tricks get ruined, and I no longer believe in the human soul. So great. But fortunately, there are some magic tricks that transcend explanation. And like any good magician, I've saved the best for last. Harry Blackstone Jr., 87 Orange Bowl Halftime Show. What you are about to see, ladies and gentlemen, is a magic act that even 40 years later, still nobody has been able to solve. And play. Now before I start, I'd like to mention that I'm very glad to be here. And I've brought along a sample of prestidigitation. For example, a lady walks into an empty box. It's double locked and bolted. It's really fortified. It's ridiculous, of course. She's turned into a horse. How the hell did he do that? How did he get that horse to remain so calm? She jumped out again as one. How is she not cut in half? Yes, that's good magic. You want to see some magic? Blah! <laughs> This is simultaneously the best and worst magic video I've seen. Here's Princess Diana Martinez. You thought there was nothing in those boxes, but there were ladies. And Princess Alexandra Romain. Ladies and balloons. Now let's see Harry's big prestige moment. Nothing in the box. Yep, they close it up, and it's a lady. And ladies and gentlemen, I need a 
bastard is lucky he didn't get arrested for black magic. I still have nightmares trying to figure out that damn horse trick. Oh my god, how did he cut that woman in half? And how did that horse get in that empty box? That dude is a god. Cool, in Christ, always chubby Bill Page illusionist magician and fun. Met him when I was a magician at Six Flags. He told me to always enjoy the show and not pick it apart by trying to figure out the trick. Okay, sir, but... But nothing! No, nothing! You will not ruin this one! Never! Although I will ruin this comment section. I guess what I'm trying to observe with today's lesson is how we're all getting magic ruined for us every day of our lives. So it's important to hang on to those fleeting moments where it might be real. Because when there's no magic left, that's when you just turn into a cunt. You just start acting like a fucking cunt. And who wants to be a cunt other than that guy at the gym who drops his weights too loud and screams like the masked magician just shoved a stunningly beautiful female assistant up his ass. That guy wants to be a cunt, but he's also most likely a flat earther, so he's on a level of believing in magic that's beyond even most children. Good on that guy. And good on you too if you choose to let a little magic into your life instead of ruining it with a fifth generation freebooted TikTok video. And hey, if you're watching all this stuff because you want to learn magic, don't. Because there's way too many of us already, and we all need the work, so fuck off! And post, and magically turn that into a death threat. <laughs> oh man, that raccoon's really stinking up the room. Oh god. Oh yeah, I told you the vomit would go somewhere else. And in its place is a rabbit! Oh, nope, never mind, it's that squirrel again. All right, well, um, you guys have been a great audience. Thank you so much for watching. And some of you lucky audience members just found out where the vomit goes. <laughs> Good night. Look at me. You recognize me. I'm the amazing Salvio. I'm excited to announce a new merch drop over at Neon Grizzly. I'm the real amazing Salvio. Go to NeonGrizzly.com for a special merch drop. We have a brand new toxic soy monster. Look at him. Look at Narfi inside him. Now look into your own soul. We have a brand new goblin cat. Have you ever seen a goblin cat? Maybe you have your own goblin cat. Maybe you are a goblin cat. We're also bringing the Cloud King back for a limited reprint. Get them now or you might never again. Notice he has the gold key? I wonder what that means. I wonder if that is significant. And last but not least, we have the old man choking a goose. Why is he doing it? What made him choke that goose? Is this old man real or is he a psychic illusion? These pre-order items will be up for sale for one week's time. The clock is ticking. This is the only week you're guaranteed to get yours, so do not mess this up. It is so easy to mess things up. I am the amazing Salvio. I'm very powerful. NeonGrizzly.com